We're back. This is episode six, and we got the younger generation, quote unquote, only like four years, but still younger. My brother, Dylan. Big clap, big clap. <laughs> really quick, really quick background. Um, so Dylan, I have known him since pretty much almost in high school. After once I like started coaching. He was still in high school because we are four years apart. Four years apart, so that means when I was uh, assisting, coaching, whatever you want to call it, he was still playing. Now, he, last year, before COVID, we were lucky enough to go through our first uh, season together. He uh, was my assistant coach, which, in first hand, I didn't think you had it in you. Oof. Who? Hmm. I think your your dad was the one that told me about you, and in my head I'm like, ah. You, you did know? catch me off guard on that one though. I was like, coaching with Dusko. I don't know about that, dude. Yeah, it was literally because like your dad was like, hey, tengo a Dylan, and I was like, ah, he's still young. What? Damn. You not that long after? I don't know if he's still. It it happens to everybody, but like in the high school scene, quote unquote. And that's where it was just like, oh, uh, is he ready for it? Because I've always said it for a coaching standpoint, it takes a real persona to differentiate a coach and a friend. And that's was like the one of the main things at the beginning was, does he have that in him? And shit, I was blown the, I was blown away, bro. Dude, I didn't even think I had it in me, bro. <laughs> When when I asked you like what what went through your head during that um, point? Well, when you first, my dad told me first. My dad was like, "Hey, um, I told Dusko about you coaching with him and this and that." I was like, Geez. I was a little skeptic. I was like, "I don't know, but I don't know about that, dude." I had the time. I had the time. I just yeah. I wanted to do something else, you know. Correct. But I was like, you know what? You know, this can be an opportunity. I'm gonna give it a shot. I know you obviously, so I was like, you know what? We might just. It is, we, we didn't know each other in the, I would say, the work aspect. Oh, no. no decision no. aspect because, again, that's, that's, that, that's, where, that's where I thought. I was like, I know him, but I know him to like a certain extent. I was like, if I start working with him, if we start making decisions together, I don't know where that's going to go. Yeah. So I was like, sheesh. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give it a shot. Let's see yeah, what comes out of it. Like, for everybody watching, uh, his dad was the first one that ended up coaching with me. And it was better than anticipated because I wouldn't have gone through my first year as a head coach without him. And uh, last year, um, yeah, I would say like last year, end of 2019, we went through the season, all three of us together. And it was for us, even though like we lost in our first round, we played a really good team. Like we, the videos I post on social media and the practices that we did, like, Five in the morning, five thirty in the morning. Him, his dad, we were all together, ready to go, and it was just that energy. So, what I want to get into is life after high school. And for the ones watching, I was I was looking at like our insights, like like what kind of crowd we see. Mm -hmm. And we have a few people that are eighteen to like twenty one, and then twenty five to thirty. But it, I still think, and this is why I posted earlier today, like the new new age versus old age. A lot, of, a lot of us are, even I'm 25, 21, a lot of us at 25 and older are still stuck in that 18, oh, 17, mindset. 19, yeah, mindset. Yeah. What was like your mindset coming out of high school? Like, because when I say he was a great player, he was a great player, had potential to play in the next level, but there's always something that happens in somebody in, in somebody's head that other people don't understand what's really going on, even if they talk about it briefly. But until you're in their shoes, then you maybe understand. So here we are, like, what what was the transition from graduating high school to now basically being an, a, an adult? Well, it was, at first I thought it was gonna be easy. You know, no one no one tells you, yo, you're, this, this is what's gonna happen. This is what you're gonna be looking into. It was just, you know what, 
I was living like this fantasy in high school where I was like, okay, I go to school, I get home, I do my work, and I go back to school. Yeah. And then um, I graduated. After that, I was like, dude, what I, what do I do with my life? Mm -hmm. You know? That's like that. Uh, yeah, big that's, question. Yeah. yeah, that's the big question everyone has, and it's just like, what do I do with my life now? Um, I wanted to go to school. I had a couple opportunities to go uh, either to Oregon or to Nevada. Um, but uh, like you know, I've always been a, an official, a soccer official. He's that the one a, that you yell at during the mid games. <laughs> hey, what the? He's one of those. Yes, yeah. but he's a really good one. Um, I had a lot. I had a lot of connections thanks to my dad. So I right after high school, I left to Nevada. I want to go do a couple of a time you can say over there because it was not that much of a great time. Yeah. I was picturing it. Oh damn! I can get out of my parents' house. Yeah. Go to Nevada. I can officiate. I can live by myself and this and that. It was not. It was not going good. <laughs> it was not going good at all. What I, like? Um, was the officiating like... part was it was amazing. It was yeah. good. Um, just that being alone was just. You don't have your parents to pick for you. You don't have your parents to look, you know, for you. <laughs> that. It's just like, I would go officiate or I'd go work out, train, get back home. And it's just like, dude, I'm alone. I have to I have to do shit by myself, you know, yeah. stuff like that. And it's like, you got to, it's not, it's not like day to day kind of thing. It's like, okay, you got to think about dude, what am I going to do next week? Yeah. What am I looking forward to next week? And it's just like, it opens up a new mindset that you didn't have in high school. You know, some people do have it in high school because... Some people work during high school. Yeah, Some sure. people have. I think now it's more of a normal that you work during high school yeah. mm -hmm. than, you know, and I would say in high school, the most I worked was literally cutting grass, <laughs> washing cars or trucks or whatever. Um, but but now, yeah, yeah, but now like people have full on jobs, like they're trying <laughs> to be where they are adults in that yeah. aspect. We'll get to that one in, in a bit, but go ahead. Um, but yeah, you know, um, where was that at? Yeah, where I was at. You were in Nevada? You oh, I was in Nevada, yeah. Um, I spent some time in Nevada officiating, um, doing a couple stuff by myself over there. Um, then I transitioned to Oregon. I went to Oregon. Hey. Um, same thing over there. Um, the only difference, I was, I was actually, I was representing Nevada. Oh, I shit. got sponsorship, I got everything. So it was, it was pretty good to a certain point, and then um, I got kind of tired of it. I tried Oregon. I went to Oregon. I had some connections there too. So I was like, you know what? Let's try something out. I went up there. They put me in some good um, level games. And it's not like I ref little kids, you know? It's not yeah. like I ref kids Full my grown age. Fucking adults. It's, and... it's adults, yeah. yeah. And you know, it's, it's kind of difficult because it's like the, the thing is just like you try to officiate with people that you, are older than you. It's like... Like that level of respect. Yeah, like the level you, of respect is like you like got to earn it. Like even you know? now, like adults... And it would, I would say consider us adults. Like we look at the younger, younger people. Either some of them don't know how to act, or some of them know how to conduct themselves. And all right, like I'm not gonna mess with you in that way because, <laughs> yeah. and knowing you for like now, what is it, two going on three years? It's like the way you conduct yourself is you're not for your age. You're 21, but you conduct yourself like you're already older than, like 25 and older. Like, I was just, my cousins are in the background. <laughs> we were just speaking about this. But it's like, you got to go through certain things in life that make you grow up yeah, they make you in, in a certain way. And a lot mm -hmm. of people, they pretend that they are mature and grown up and they can handle things. But at the same time, like, they haven't really gone True. through yeah. certain uh traumas to certain experiences that yeah like you, that that's like the biggest thing like going through the, that that trauma those experiences that really change you and i think this the the first year coaching me and you it was like we we both saw different sides of trauma in different ways and the grind and the grit true. motivation was just different now like what you're saying right now if you guys thought i, I haven't even heard this but damn mm -hmm. you went to oregon you went to nevada yeah. This is straight out of high school, like straight. Yeah, dude, I was just it was it was crazy, cause um personally I thought I can live by myself. You know, you're mm -hmm. just you're normal teen. You're just dude. I want to get out of my parents' house. 
You know, once I turn 18, I want to leave and this and that. Yeah. It's just, it's a good mindset, but it's just, you're not, you know, I don't think you're ready for that. You know? And a lot of people think they are. Yeah, a lot of people think they are and you're not. Honestly. It's because everybody posts that they get the 1942 <laughs> bottles and they buy $80 bottles and yes, exactly. hundreds and whatever it is. But in reality, what social media portrays is, mm. is now it's a monster because I was literally just explaining it earlier. Like, we, I bought this one today. We bought him that one because for some reason that's what he likes. But it was like, bro, we stood in a budget of like 70 bucks. Yeah. And we're still going to get to that to that end game, which everybody's like, to party, whatever. We're just doing it casually to have this conversation and be more confident in it. But the verification that people see is like, you need to get brands. You need to have a brand on your feet, on your shirt, on your backpack. Social social media is like you said a monster because like you can you can picture someone on social media to be like really up here. Did that affect you? Uh, what's up? The, <laughs> excuse me. Did that affect you in a sense? Social like, media. Um, well, while I was gone, um, either in Oregon or in Vegas, I was posting stuff on social media. Mm -hmm. I don't really post a lot on my Instagram, but um, like stories and stuff like that, I, I would post. And most of my, I would see most of my friends. And they're out there partying, they're out there doing this and that. And I was seeing, I was like, dude, I wish I could do that, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm stuck here, you know, I, I wish I could do that. And then sometimes I would slide up and be like, dude, next time hit me up and this and that. Yeah. But it just, I would see them as a person, like I would get to know them and it's just like, dude, whatever you're putting on your social media is just, this is not you, dude. It's different. Like I see you up here in social media and then I go either to your house or I go to like to know you. You can be a shitty ass person, I'm sorry to say, but you can just be a shitty person and you can put yourself as a god in social media, you know, and it just, like you said, it's always, it's the same thing. It goes back to the mindset. I was just thinking about this and the whole day because I was like, all right, what kind of topics can we get into and what can we talk about? But I know a few people, honestly, that make a good living, have a, you know, a couple of dollars and stuff like that, but... In the background, no responsibilities, no anything. And some of them make a good enough living and whatever it is. And so what I'm trying to get to, they have a couple bucks, but their attitude and the way they are, yeah, is that's shitty. Right. That's the negative part of it. It's shitty. So it's just like, bro, you can have, you can have all the money in the world. You can flaunt it. You can do this, that, party, whatever you want. But when you're, when you're POS, yeah, true. That doesn't take away from you. And for me now, it's just like, I don't, I don't need to be uh, around you in that aspect because it's like, why, why have those people around you? Because, and literally, again, I'll bring up my cousins that they're going to get shy <laughs> even though they're not on. We're just talking about this, that even the most, the closest people supposedly that you have and that support you and, hey, this is a move that you're going to, you tell them the move you're going to make. They're like, nah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do yeah, it. True. Those are the first ones to not support you and say it does work out because not a, it doesn't always work out, but it, say it does work out, those are the first ones to come right back and be, yeah, true. hey, man, I always believed in you. Da, da, da. It's like, fake friends, those are the fake It's friends. like, you, you're going to tell me you support me in my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Behind my back, yeah, you're, you're the first one to talk, mm -hmm. talk your smack, talk, talk your stuff and not even support true. what I'm trying to do. And it's like, why? You know what I mean? So the, the next, what I'm trying to, to bring it up to the next question is, from the people you met in high school or known in high school that were your friends, your everyday, how many, how many of them do you talk to still today? Like, that you can mess around with blindly, no matter what? None. None, I don't think I, None, bro, I'm sorry, but none. Um, I have a friend that we went to the same high school. Yeah. Um, we didn't know each other. After high school, we, we, we got to know each other. Um. Like with John. <laughs> Shout out John. Same thing. Um, she ended up actually being one of my best friends. So it's like, she's probably the only one right there. Dang. Um, I have, honestly, for my age, my friends are like 25 and above, dude. <laughs> 25 there yeah there this you go me. exactly this is me <laughs> I, don't, um, I don't really have friends like my age yeah probably like one or two um but the rest are like 25 and above dude because it's like they have a i'm not saying 
this, um, younger people are immature, but it's like they have a different mindset. Yeah. And if you surround yourself, like you said, with people that have positive mindsets. Yeah. Or like out that are outgoing. Yeah. You know, you can actually like rest if, in life if, like that. If you're, there's always a time to party, to drink this sure. and that. No matter what, no matter what age, there's always like your family parties, friend parties, whatever it is. I, I do it just with certain friends, John, Ernie, family, whatever it is. But it's almost like Monday through Friday, at least, at least, if you don't have a set, not a set schedule, but if you don't have a routine, a, like these things you need to be, get done in order for you to make it productive, and you feel like it's okay to do what, like, mess around during the week. It's like, what are you mm. doing with your life, dude? <laughs> yeah, because like you're, throwing I, your, you're throwing your life away, dude. Let me tell you that. I think what we were just saying earlier is people see, like, the product, right? Like, people see we have a setup and this and that. And people flaunt. They, they got their paycheck and it's just dollars. And I'll quote my... My primo Abel, he said, you're just somebody without a bank account. <laughs> I was like, ooh. That's a good one. It's like, yeah, like you're right. Like I see my paychecks and I see what I make and stuff like that. And it's just not, it, it's well enough money to support the household right now. And it's not extravagant. It's not like, hey, I'm going to take it all out of the bank and here it is, flaunt it. That, that's one thing right there. A lot of people flex so money on Instagram. A lot of people f like in social media. And you know, it's just sometimes you look at it and you're like, damn, this forgot, you just forgot money. You know, this just got money. I think I've seen it today. It's like people <laughs> want to be in your position, but as soon as they realize what you need to be doing in order to be there every yeah, day, exactly. they don't want to do they it. They don't want to do it. Exactly. So what, yeah. like, what, what, keep, what kept you and what keeps you going like right now? Like from moving to Oregon and Nevada, now you're back here like what keeps you going to that point um honestly um my parents probably do they've been working their whole life you know to set me here yeah to put, to put me in the place where i'm at i'm honestly thankful for my parents because if it wasn't for them i probably wouldn't have the stuff i have right now i you know as, and it's, as cliche like <laughs> bro like thankful for your parents obviously being and i'm able to have your friendship but honestly, like, thankful for your dad. Like, without your dad, oh. it... Sometimes, sometimes I tell him, I'm just like, dude, sometimes you talk too much. Sometimes, you know, yeah, and I'm sorry, dude, but I'm just like, sometimes you talk too much. Sometimes you're out there too much, you know? Yeah. And then I kind of, like, realize it. I'm like, okay, like, if it wasn't, it wasn't for him talking too much. Yeah. If it wasn't for him putting himself out there, you know, people wouldn't really know me. You wouldn't have those type of traits either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's just like, I, I learned from my dad a lot, too, because it's like... Dude, he's like, he doesn't know it, but he's actually teaching me something really, really important, yeah, you know? Yeah, for sure. And it's um, it's stuff like that that you got to like, it's the little things that you got to pick up, dude. It's just, it's, it's a lot, but you got to you gotta pick it up and you got to throw the good things, uh, throw, keep the good things and throw the bad things out, you know? For sure. I think one just, thing, like, since we're quoting, like, your dad, I'll call my dad, like, my dad says, don't, don't take the bad things that I do, but take the good things that exactly, I do. Exactly, yeah. And and not too, not too long ago, I would say, I, I would say like over a month, like we were at your at your house with your dad and we were drinking, oh, and we that literally inspired me even more to make this this channel and this this podcast because it was just like we just had an hour or something conversation, in and, and we went forever and it was just like the things that we hit here were insane. And I'll bring it up now, but it was two weeks ago, honestly. I would say, yeah, about two weeks ago, almost three already. Two weeks ago, your dad calls me. And this is fresh out after, you know, um, going through our family loss and everything. Mm -hmm. I wasn't posting too much or anything, but he called me. And he was like, look, he was like someone that's a great motivator. I know you're a great motivator stays consistent and you have to and i've i didn't know until i met him but like your dad's a big preacher oh yeah and definitely. the word of the higher power mm -hmm. and he told me that and literally that i would say that same day or the next day i posted a video and i was like when i talked to your dad the next time i was like because he replied to my story and i was like 
you did this. Oh you gave God. me that kick in my ass. Like, wake up, get to it. And, and he's not he's not your dad, dude. Imagine me. Like, sometimes he doesn't know it. I don't tell him. But sometimes I'm down. You know, I got my hose in. My, my hose. <laughs> I got my, my nose and eyes. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, much, you know, this is this, this, this just, nah, nah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, <laughs> this dude's like, everybody dude, take a sip, everybody appreciate. take a drink. Yeah, yeah you know what? That, that, that was good. A drink. There you go. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, dude, he's always preaching, and it's not—it's not so much about like religion, you know. It, it's just like he's gone through a difficult life, you know. And it's just, he doesn't want me to go through that, so he always tells me and repeats and repeats the same things. And it just sometimes I'm just like I get annoyed of it, but I always come back to it and just like, dude, okay, you were right, you know. I'm 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 glad we're we're we we brought up like why, and again I'll mention that the con the conversation we just had earlier with my cousins. I wish I documented <laughs> that because that was just insane. So I brought it up like two weeks ago. I seen a a video of Eric Thomas E. T. If you if no one has ever heard him. He said, if you do things for yourself, it's easier to give up. Like, ah, oh, you're too tired, it's too early, it's too True. late. Um, whatever the case is, you'll bring up a, an excuse and you won't do whatever you, you need to do. When you do it for somebody else, your parents, your wife, your husband, your kids, when you do it for them, it's like, are you willing to let them down? Or are you willing to go to the extreme to do it for them? Mm -hmm. And it clicked. I'm like, if I don't do what I need to do for, you know, my girlfriend, my son, for us to be okay, my parents still, because I still do things for my dad and my mom, because again, I work for my dad. I need to do this. True. If I don't do it, then what, what kind of person am I? True. And it's easier because again, we'll talk about that social media, how big it is because I see it, he sees it. People portray them will say, oh, hard work, dedication, this, this, this. But are not willing to do things outside of social media to go and do that work. People don't see me like killing bugs or when we're in our schedule for coaching. True. Like this, like, I'm not gonna even say kid, this guy. The one time I miss coaching was when my son was born. He took over and it was, there was no, it was scary because I was like, damn, I don't have control of that game for the first time in my life, but it was in great hands. And the very next day, like your dad came over, your mom came over and, and they visited us. And it was like, man, like to the point where when you can trust people blindly, that friendship is, is to be valued. And it's like you, your dad, and, and other friends outside of my own family, it's like, to have that is insane because it's not too many. Like, how many people can you trust outside of your family? Besides like, your friend you were talking about? Two, three, that's it. Damn. Mm -hmm. Is that a big difference from high school? I mean, in high school, I didn't really trust anyone. You know, it was just, what, what I, what I, what I what the how I see it, I'm mentality. sorry. <laughs> How I see it was just like high school, you're gonna meet people. Some of them might become your friends, some of them might not. Yeah. But it's just, it's, it's temporary, you know? After high school, everyone knows you're not gonna go to the same uh, college, you know, yeah. you're gonna go, you know? So it's just like, why, you know, get stuck with that person or get with that group of people? Do you, you know they're not gonna be there for You run years. into people from high school and they look at you. And there's like, hey, bro, let's catch up. Da, da, da. Yeah, dude, I was just at the mall right now, dude. I just, yeah, I got up to my homie and I was just like, I was like, dude, what's up? And he's like, dude, what's up, man? And I was, he's like, dude, we should catch up and this and that. And I was like, oh, yeah. Dude, we know we're not going to catch up. Dude, that's, that, that, not, yeah. that's one thing I've always like dreaded because coaching where I coach, I coach a lot of, we, we coach a lot of like the younger siblings oh, or whatever, you know, my older sister, brother, whatever it is. But I've always dreaded that because even at the gym, it was like, bro, what's up? Da, da, da. It was like, uh, I would see you at the gym, dude. I would see you at the gym. Hey, I did, and I always, called them, I always called them out. And I always tell you, like, bro, like, what the hell? 
But it was like, I think for me personally, when you have those friends that really care about your well-being and say, hey, dude, like, get your shit on it, like, mm -hmm. get to it. Yeah. It's just like, all right, like, you actually care about me. And if you didn't, then you wouldn't tell me anything. True. I mean, it depends, obviously, like, how it comes. And, and damn, already? Yeah. Damn, 25 minutes, my guy. We're so going. Man. <laughs> um, Oof, okay. But it, it was, um, it's, I, I've always thought that, like, when your friends that are friends don't check you, like, hey, like, if you're messing up, hey, dude, get yeah, your stuff true. straight. True. Um, my friend, his name is Arjun. We call him Arjun. Shout out, He's Arjun. A, shout out to are. Arjun. There, there you go. go. He subscribed, actually. I'm pretty sure he subscribed. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, this dude, I think he has the same age as you, bro. He's always telling me the same thing. He's just like, dude. He's a youngin. Yeah, exactly, dude. He's just, he, he's looking out for me. You know, he's always looking out for me. He's like, yo, um, if you want to do this, I'll help you out with it. You know, I'll support you in it. And um, if I'm going through something he, he already went through, he tries guiding me through it. You know, he tries coaching yeah. me through it. Dude, you can do this. Experiences. You know? Yeah, exactly. And it's yeah. just like, pe people like that, you actually need to your life. Yeah, because you know? a lot of people are sorry to a lot of people try to teach you things that, that they've never been through. Exactly. Never exactly. been through. It's like, how can you tell me how to go through when you've if you haven't even gone to that? Yeah. How to sure. start a business or this or that or whatever sure. it is or you haven't even done it yourself. Yeah, exactly. How how can you do it? And that's the crazy part. So it's just like, I think that's why a lot of and that's why I wanted to have you on here because it's it's hypocritical from people my age and older, sadly. And it's still hypocritical because a lot of our, I would say our young, new coming generation believes social media, like you need to have like Jordans and Gucci and Louis Vuitton and this. If you can do it and still pay bills and stuff, go for it. That's Treat cool. yourself. Yeah, that's, that's fine. But when, and I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, we're probably gonna end up cutting off right now. We'll get right back to it. But it's, if you try to put a persona that you ain't. Exactly. And you, everybody can, every, if you don't have a credit card yet, you're messing <laughs> up. But anybody can get a credit card. True. And you can run that card until yeah, your limit. Like big debt. Yeah. yeah and I'll tell like experience, like you, I, you, you don't know. And I was mentioning earlier, like I ran, when I was younger, like this is. I started working at, at T-Mobile like 19 to 21, almost 22. When I said I ran through my credit card, oh my I God. ran through it. And, it. and it wasn't that I was making bad money. I was making good money. But to support a lifestyle that I didn't, I couldn't that afford. you betrayed it. You know, you know. Oh, that's... my goodness. I made enough just to put the minimum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe like $10 more. But it was like, bro. Yeah. To now, it's like, all right, now we're in, we're in a, a pandemic, we're in a crisis, we got government help, and my girlfriend can literally sit there and vouch for it. When we got the last 600 bucks, I seen it, I seen what I owed because we, we got the, the camera and everything. I see what I owed, I seen the 600, let it all go to a payment of something I invested in, and I said, it's okay. Yeah. We're bringing it down because when you get to the point of like you're searching for a home, when I say they look into everything and everything they comes have, up, they do. everything comes yeah. up. So it was like, all right, let me put that money and let me pay it off because if I don't, then I'm gonna oh I'll, I'll get I'll keep five hundred and I'll get a oh, hundred. No, no, you don't want to do that. And that totals up. We so have, now, we know where that ends, dude. Did, did, have you ever ran into that? Or have you ran into uh, that? Well, I do have a couple credit cards, you know? Okay. And, okay. Um, I usually don't buy really expensive things with it. Um, obviously, I kind of made my research on how, how to manage a, Wait, a credit card. Uh, so, we'll get a, speak about your buy and resell. I remember you were Ooh. telling me. Ooh. When, this was high school days, bro. <laughs> this was high so, school high school, days. when we talk about finding your way to make a couple bucks, mm -hmm. and shout out to everybody that works in high school. There's always an option, and I'll, I'll do this really quick. There's always an option to live your high school life. And what? 20. 29. Well, let's stop right here, and then right, we'll, we'll restart. All right. What? Go. Right. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Short moment break to refill whatever we needed. 
So we're talking about high school, you're buying resale. Why and what were you doing? Um, well, I didn't do it so much because of money. Because, um, wow, sheesh. I was like, dude, when is he, when is he going to start drinking his energy drink, dude? Um, I didn't do, I didn't do it so much because, like, for the money. Because, um, I was officiating when I was in high school. I was making pretty good money, money on that. So yeah. I was like, I seen my friends do it. I see, it was, it was like, it was a train back then. You know, uh, shoes were a little bit difficult to get. Correct. They, they still are. Right now. They yeah. still are. Well, some, <laughs> some. Um, so I was like, you know what? I want, I want to try this. You know, and um, honestly, uh, I tried it, and I was like, dude, this, this makes good money. You know, even though I, I was making money, I was like, always having more money, so I was good. You know, it's always like, yeah, don't, don't stop your hustle there. there and always make more, more money. That. So I was like, dude, I'm gonna start doing this. Yeah. You know. And um, I started not copying, but I started kind of studying my friends that were doing it. So I was like, I kept asking questions. I kept doing this. I was like, dude, okay, you know, I can do it myself. Yeah. Um, I did a little bit of research, and I was like, dude, I'm, I'm gonna start doing this. I started telling everyone that I was gonna start reselling. Um, they started spreading the word, and um, that ended up making me pretty good money. That ended up putting me out there, kind of, in high school. Same. I wasn't really popular, you know. <laughs> um, but it was just like. Whenever, whenever it was like uh, soccer related or shoe related, it was just like, oh, Dylan. Great. You know, go ask Dylan or, hey, my girlfriend needs these shoes. Do you have them or can you get them? Yeah. I was, I was your guy, you know? And it was just like. So you were just doing it just one to get a little extra money and two just because you. Just, yeah, you, you know, decide. like it, everyone searches, everyone looks for popularity in high school, you know? And yeah. it's just like, if that put me out there and everyone knows me because of that. As cliche as it know? sounds, like, yeah. yeah exactly. I was like, dude, I'm just going to do it for that, you know? Yeah. And, and, and it's sad, like, I would say because a lot of the big names that one would see in high school, no offense to anybody, but a lot of people that would be the cool kids or the bad kids. Exactly. Now, when life is in your face, it's like, what are you doing? They're the ones that struggle the most. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, you know, and, and it ties into like what we were talking about earlier about like pretending on social media, like, you know, the pandemic hit and everything. And it was like a lot of people got that government help and great, man, you're probably making more money than we did when you were working. Exactly. Whatever the case is, it doesn't matter to me. I was blessed and we've been blessed to be able to work. But it's like when it stops, are you still OK? Yeah. Are you, are you going to be okay? And it's like, all right, what are you doing now to prepare? Just in case when that time comes and you're not getting the help, are you still okay? And still be able to live that ravaged lifestyle. Like, we're just saying, like, um, there's this tequila store in San Diego on Sunday. Like, we want to go on Sunday to go check it out. And mm -hmm. I love tequila. Yeah, I want to <laughs> He might be joining us. We might have to do that other <laughs> a next episode over there. Um, but we saw it and was like, well, let's go. And to us, it's not a big thing because we're not here to, again, post how much this was or our check or our rent or whatever it is. But it's like, sure. why? And I always say this. Why? Because we had to come up from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I, like, I think I said it in my first video on set or with, with John or Paco. I already forgot. We we're saying, like, I was telling them, like, I remember when my accounts were negative. Like, I would put $15 in my card and my gas would be 30 When I'm talking about my debit card is negative, my debit card is negative. So when I put it $30 in, $15 is already yeah, down. True. So it's like now that we have something, not everything, we have something to show for it, 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 it doesn't hit us to flaunt it and bring other people down, let down true. people. We're big, like, I'm very big in how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you respect yourself? Do you respect others? And if people are disrespecting you, how do you carry yourself? Yeah, true. Step away from, step away from the circus. Let the true. clown have the circus and we move on. You know what I mean? Like, yes. it, there's been incidents, for some reason, guys think it, it's cool. Let them have the circus. Yeah. You, whatever you do, you don't, it, you don't affect me. Yeah. It's crazy because you're 21, I'm 25, and you're literally almost having that same mentality. Like, did, I'm just, did COVID 
fucking Mess affect my- you in some sort of way? I have no idea. But- um, it did actually. Um, I don't. Well, right now I'm not officiating. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously it's it's a sport. You know, sure. everything's kind yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I always had a backup. Obviously, you okay. know, um, that uh, reselling shoes always helped me out because um, when I was reselling shoes, I told my friend RJ. Yeah. I was like, dude, I'm doing this and that, and he always would tell me, dude, save that money. Save that money or yeah. invest that money to something else, and I was like, I can, you know, I'm a typical high school guy. No, dude, I wanna, I wanna buy more shoes. I wanna mm. show up fresh to school and this yeah. and that. And he'll tell me, dude, after high school, no one cares about that, you know? No one does. And um, people start caring about different things, and exactly. that still doesn't matter. For sure, it doesn't exactly. matter. And um, he would bug me so much about it that I did start saving a couple money. You know, yeah. okay, I would manage my money. This goes to savings, this goes to investing, and this yeah. I can spend, you know? For sure. And um, I always have that there, I always have that there, and then when COVID hit, no one knew it was going to hit that bad. Yeah, for You sure. know, and I, I honestly even forgot I had that money, to be honest. I was like, dude, you know what? My parents are uh, unemployed now. Yeah. You know, I don't really have that much of a job. You know, dude, you know this can help, you know? And I told my parents, I was like, dude, if you guys need anything, there's that money. You know, yeah. we're not going to be wasting it just to waste it. Because your parents right? found a way out. They oh, yeah. My, my, Definitely. My, I don't know how they do it, dude. My parents, they find the respect to yeah. all those parents that, exactly. honestly, that never let their sure. kids know that there's a struggle. Mm-hmm. And now yeah. that you're older, you actually see it now. You see it differently. You see, you see it differently. You're like, for sure. My, you know, my parents are struggling, you know. And it's that's that's the thing when you're younger, you're like, oh, you know, I'm living in my parents' house. You know, you don't know how much like house costs to them. You don't know how all much. You, all you care is about paying your car, paying no, your car, going out with your friends, going out for a drink, exactly. making it look nice. Exactly. And it's like, again, no offense to whatever situation you have, but you got to have your priorities straight. Mm-hmm. You got to be able to True. be okay. For me, it's. When you're able to take care of not just you, but somebody else, it's like, are you doing something bigger than you? Now you care about somebody else, whether it's your sister, your mom, your brother, your dad, whoever it is, your significant other. When you think about them, the things you're capable of doing. Oh, yeah. As I say, I think the only one that already know what I had to do in order to be in this place that we're in right now afford what, what we got it was like either you live with me or you're around me during those times like you your dad my girlfriend my cousin that was living with me <laughs> at the time when i talk about like when we were coaching early monday through saturday coming from work going to coaching it was like it, it was a schedule oh yeah home. definitely now it's like get home from work still go to the gym for at least two hours or an hour and a half Pick up my kid, <laughs> come home, True. wait wait for his mom it's, or sometimes. It's, it's that little extra it. hustle yeah. that takes you a long way, you know? And what that's the important part, dude. Yeah. What what would honestly like or we're, we're getting to our cap, but like what would you honestly say is there something you would do different or say to your younger self? Like say from eighteen to, to twenty? Mm. Damn. That's, that's a good question. I've, I've never asked myself that question. Damn. I never asked anybody else. <laughs> but I'll ask you um, now. <laughs> damn. You got to think about that one. Well, for, again, because there's, there's some people that are younger than us and even older than us, and I'm glad they're, they're watching and listening. Is there something you would, you would say to them? Like, you know, this is what I went through. Don't um, think about it before you do for it. For the people that are younger than me? 20, 21 and younger. Um, try to focus on yourself. Honestly, don't picture yourself in Instagram or in Snapchat or social media higher than you are right now, you know? Um, don't try to go broke, you know, exposing yourself in social media that you have this and you have that. Yeah. You know, I, I personally never did that because, damn, I didn't really have a lot, you know? I did that. Yeah. I, you, some, like, some people fucking do that. be told <laughs> for what I have now, when I talk about my shit, was like five dollars in that account. That's it. Was like there, there's and that's honestly that's cool because personally I've had dude just five dollars in my account, but yeah. my car is paid, you know, bills is paid, internet is paid, everything's good, you know. Yeah, 
And that, I think that's the important part. Once I like to work here, so I think <laughs> being paid. exactly. You know what? <laughs> once once you take care of what your adult duties are, yeah, the rest is up to you. Even even though you have five dollars you left in your bank account, yeah, you worked hard to earn what you have right there. You know, you worked hard to put yourself in that position, and no matter what you do, no matter how much you put yourself on Instagram, no one's really gonna notice that. You know, no one's really gonna notice that. You got, you got to keep it personal. You got to keep that to yourself. Yeah. And it's just you got to move along by yourself. You know, because if, like I said, you can move along with other people that have the same mindset, that have the same positivity. It's good to have people around. Yeah, like exactly. And um, always leave the negative out. Never, never go in debt. That's 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 very important. And if you thing. do. Make it good debt make where it, yes, you're able to pay that shit off, exactly. get out of it, get your credit up for those exactly. people that think because you have all the money in the account, your credit doesn't matter. Once you <laughs> once you have your money managed, once you have your credit good. But once you have your people managed. Once, that's, that's one thing too. Dude, you are in control of your life. Yeah. You are definitely in control of your life because there's always people that struggle money-wise. There's always people that have to go look for that money daily. Yeah. And they just go to work, sleep, go to work, sleep. They don't have control of their life, you know? Correct. And Enjoy that's a hustle. Life. I'm not saying sure. that's not a hustle. That's definitely a hustle because I'm pretty sure they have family. They have other things to pay. But it's just once you have your money managed, once you have your life in control, everything is bright, dude. Bro, that is crazy. Everything is definitely bright. I kid bright. you not. My mom, shout out my mom once again. Shout out the homie Ana. Hey. <laughs> so she sent me this, and it's in Spanish, bro. And it, from what's relation to what's going on already with us. So it says there's tres tapas en tu vida. Three main stages, stages, in, your life, yeah. stages in your life. Jóvenes, when you're young, tienes todo el tiempo y la energía, pero no dinero. All the time in the world, all the energy, no money. <laughs> True. True. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As an adult, tienes dinero y energía, pero no tienes el tiempo. Yeah, boy, exactly. You got money, energy, but you don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I felt like that one hit me. And when you're old, tienes ancianos, tienes el dinero y el tiempo, pero no la energía. Yes. You got the money, you got the yes. time now, now you have no energy. You got you to quote that, you got to tweet that or something, dude. Yeah, my mom, shout out my mom, she, she sent this. And it says, like, disfruta la vida con todo lo que tengas en el momento. Like, mm -hmm. enjoy what you got. And, like, it, as much as, like, you know, me and my girlfriend, we work a lot during the week. We don't enjoy Monday through Friday because it's just work. When it comes to the weekend, if we don't have something important to attend to, we try to do something for us. That's good. Like, you know, I'm, we're speaking about the San Diego. It's, San, you know, something for me, but... A trip, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you're, we're able, we we can do that and still be okay. We're able to do this. We're able to be here. We're able to drive. We're able to, biggest thing, we're able to live. Oh yeah. yeah. People don't don't see the importance of you got to live your life. You got to be able to live because mm -hmm. one, you worry about what others think. Two, you worry about Dang. what others are gonna do. And three, you worry. <laughs> You're just worried about other things that don't affect your life mm -hmm. and the importance that you think it is. So it's insane, bro. It's honestly insane that you're speaking how you're speaking because, damn, that that's, uh, I think that's really good for people coming up and the great mentality for you to keep going because there's moves that you're trying to make that I already know oh, you're yeah. trying to make and you're, you're always looking <laughs> for that way out yeah. and, uh, damn, maybe we should just end on that one because... <laughs> That was good. You have your shot ready to go because uh, I can make it into a shot. You have a little cuff right here. We're gonna we're gonna end this because we're going into it. There's still a lot more to say, but that means you just gotta stay tuned for the next episode. True. And maybe we film in San Diego. Maybe somebody else is on. But honestly, if, if you take anything from what you just heard th this far, the mentality how you see life, the events that you go through, it, it's important again, and, and it's crazy because it's about, I've been preaching the last couple episodes about who you have around you. Who you have around you does affect you, but again, if you 
take yourself in consideration, work for yourself, do things not just for you but for others, and yeah. you stay motivated That's more than anything. Yeah. Like even in dark days. Oh yeah, definitely. like I just posted another video on work coaching, and it's like nothing but fall. We can't see missed, anything. Yeah, exactly. That's what honestly, I miss those days, bro. I miss. Man, those days, COVID bro. stop already because we Oof. need to go back, but. With that, bro, and this is the most important part, and I'm grateful to have this, you know, a toast to life. Yes, and a sir. toast to you because, yes, shit, you came and you spit facts on this, <laughs> and you let everybody else hear it, and, man, who knows? We might film another session. <laughs> Say <laughs> this. Yes. But appreciate everybody. Like, share, subscribe. It's still crazy to me that we're six episodes in, and we're not done. We're just getting started. So, cheers, my boy. Cheers, a toast to life.